you guys. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I make the little fish, the cattails, and the water lilies for this open book cake that I made. Um, if you want to see how to make the full open book cake project, go over to cakeheads.com and become a member, and you get access to all the tutorials over there. Okay, but for this tutorial, for this video, I am starting with the cattails. I'm using modeling chocolate, and you can see I'm just using regular old white modeling chocolate. I like to color things afterwards with paints and stuff because I totally hate coloring things ahead of time with gel, mixing it into my medium. It's just a pain for me. <laughs> so this is how I do it. So I've got white and I rolled it between my hands, but then I also use my fondant smoother there to roll it against my surface so I can get a nice snake-like shape nice and thin and then I'm just kind of rounding off the edges after I cut a little piece off obviously you can make your cattails whatever size you want them to be a super easy quick tutorial here and then cut as many as you want off of that little rope piece modeling chocolate is great because it stays wherever you put it and I'm going to put it on these spaghetti um, uncooked spaghetti pieces this is wheat pasta so um, I think a wheat pasta might be a little bit stronger than regular white pasta so wheat pasta might be the way to go for you if you're gonna do it this way and it's edible which is great so I just slide the cattail on a little piece of the pasta super easy then I am going to paint it brown with my edible art paints you can see I use my edible art art paints often here and um, after I paint it brown right after I paint it brown I'm going to dip it into my cocoa and because it's still wet the cocoa will stick to it and it will give it that kind of uh, soft fuzzy cat tail look like real cat tail plants have super quick and easy you can make as many of those as you want now for the leaves i have wafer paper here and i've printed out a green background on my wafer paper with my edible ink and my printer designated for cake decorating you should totally invest in one of those if you are a serious cake decorator because it saves so much time and energy but you can um, also color your wafer paper with shortening and petal dust or airbrush it as well with edible airbrush paint if you want to do that um, i'm folding over my wafer paper here because i want the color on both sides and when i obviously printed out on my printer i did not print out both sides so i folded it over and you can use a little shortening to keep the um, folded pieces together and i'm going to just place my little cattails where i want them to be um, this is in this theme of this cake it's like a little it's a lake and it's supposed to look like the pages of a storybook that are talking about a lake scene <laughs> so I've you saw me cut the pieces of wafer paper to the appropriate shape now I'm just using some shortening and I'm bending my wafer paper and because I have my wafer paper is kind of doubled up here when I folded it all over it's not breaking when I bend it it's it makes it kind of strong enough to not break when I uh, fold it to or bend it into the shape I want it to be the shortening helps with that as well and I just stick the pieces on to both sides they kind of are sticking together a little bit around the spaghetti strip quick and easy way to make cattails okay now I'm making fish I'm using modeling chocolate I wanted quick fish here I did not want to spend forever on these fish so I'm rolling it into a ball shape and then kind of shaping my hands into a V shape to thin out the one end and then I'm using my thumb like so to push down on the tail and kind of rolling the end between my fingers to um, thin it out a little bit and then if you can't thin it thin it out enough I'm just cutting like a triangular shape out to get it to the right shape there using the back of my exacto knife or my scalpel here to create the little lines in the fin and now for the top fin I'm just going to squeeze a little strip on top here and buff it out with my fingers and then I'm going to use the back 
of my, oh, I'm sorry, now I'm cutting out the mouth first. I just cut a little triangular piece out for the mouth and then I'm using my ball tool to kind of open up the mouth a little bit. And now I'm using the back of my scalpel to create a line around the fin and then the little lines on the top of the fin as well. And then a line to kind of separate the body of the fish from the head of the fish. And now I've got two straws, a regular drinking straw for the um, large round part of the eye and then a stir straw for the small part of the eye just to kind of create those lines easily and quickly. And, and then I just got a little, little piece of modeling chocolate here. I put the lines in for, and that makes my little fin, which I will eventually attach with shortening. That makes a very fast fish <laughs> when you need to make lots of them it's just an easy way to do it okay i'm using roxy and rich here because their stuff is fda approved and edible and i love it so my fish is going to look like this because it's you know it's a lake fish these are kind of lake fish colors i'm starting with canary yellow of roxy and rich um it is a edible hybrid sparkle dust is what I'm using because I thought it would be fun for the fish to have a little bit of sparkle as well. If you need to deepen that yellow a little bit because the sparkle dust doesn't give you as deep of a color as their petal dust does, also edible. So I'm using the canary yellow just to deepen that um, that yellow a little bit and then you can go back over it with the yellow sparkle dust. And then I have emerald green sparkle dust for the bottom part of the fish and I just use a paintbrush and I just kind of brush it on. I'm not going to be handling these fish too much so whatever color I put on is generally going to stay so I don't really have to do much more with my color here. Just kind of layer it on, get it as dark as I want by layering it on. Again, if you want to deepen that color, you'll have to find a corresponding petal dust color to go with it. Now I've got cocoa petal dust that I'm using to go over the fins because the fins are, you know, a little bit darker. And that's going to be the top fin, the back fin. Be very careful with that back fin because if you mess with it too much, it could fall off if you're using modeling chocolate. And then the mahogany sparkle dust. I'm going to go over it with that because that's going to sparkle it up a little bit. And who doesn't like a little sparkle? I mean, fish like sparkle too, right? How do you know that they don't? <laughs> It's always great to have sparkle on your cake, even if it's on a fish. And then I'm going to use some shortening to attach that little fin on the side there. And I've got some black edible art paint and a toothpick. And I'm just going to dot it on that small circle of the eye. And I got a little messy with it, but you can actually take your time and do that a little bit cleaner. And that is my quick and easy a little fish. Now for my project I also wanted some water lilies, some quick water lilies. So I have a daisy a paper punch here that I got on Amazon. It's a big one and I'm going to punch out six of these daisies and then I'm going to attach two of them together with some shortening so that I will have three layers of daisies, right? So two I'm going to attach together with shortening so that I will have three layers. So here I am using just regular old shortening and lining up two of them back to back so the colors on both sides. Again, I printed out um, with my edible printer onto wafer paper this pink color. Um, and also it gives a little bit more sturdiness to my wafer paper to double it up like this. So then I'm just kind of and because I use the shortening, I'm bending in the petals. They aren't breaking off because of the shortening and the double wafer paper. And I'm going to do that with two of the layers. I'm going to leave the first one, you know, relatively open. The second one I'm going to bend in a little bit more. And then the third layer I'm going to bend in a lot, the petals. And then I'm going to use just a dab of shortening and I'm going to attach them to each other, making the petals offset so that they don't line up completely. And then putting the other one in the center. If you want to cut up some yellow wafer paper pieces to put in the middle, you could do that like a real water lily. But I was, you know, I was making these kind of fast and I didn't feel like they needed it. You could also use yellow 
non-pareils, is that how you pronounce it, or, <laughs> or yellow sugar pearls. You could put those in the middle of your water lilies as well. And I added them to my open book cake here for this particular project. They worked really well on here. If you wanna learn how to make an open book cake like this one here, you can come become a member of cakeheads.com join our cakeheads family we have tons of fun over there you get access to all the tutorials on the site and member to the i'm sorry and access to the members only group where we hang out and so much information is shared on cake decorating tips and encouragement and just support round the clock become part of our family on cakeheads.com thanks for watching